So welcome to our episode on Metroid Dread. And I gotta say, are you guys getting the game? The hype is beginning. Oh man. We're getting excited. And I have to say something. I gotta say something, because I have not addressed it. There was the Nintendo Direct where they first showed it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I did a reaction video to it. Okay. And I was sitting there like this the whole time and I didn't say anything and I hardly spoke. And the comments afterwards were people like, does he even know what's going on? Like, <laughs> they're doing that. Because I, I want to hear from your point of view as well, is in that Nintendo Direct, I was expecting Metroid Prime 4. Right? I was ah. expecting that more than anything. Fair so enough. all of a sudden I'm like, this is not Metroid Prime 4, yeah. this is another Metroid. And there was a lot of confusion going on in my mind. Yeah. And it says Metroid 5. And what was happening is, I'm not just one of those YouTubers that's like, oh my god, this is unbelievable. Woo! Yeah. I I was calculating going, wait a second, if that's this, what is this? And why is this out now? Why is this out before Prime 4? What's going on? Like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. I was actually I was a little annoyed too. <laughs> Fair because enough. no, because I thought it was going to be Prime uh, Four. And yeah. like, no, you're not getting that. You're getting this other yeah. Metroid. And then I'm like, wait, this is good news. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is awesome. So, what was your thoughts when you saw the trailer? Okay, first off, I'm gonna say um, when I first heard about it and my first watched the trailer, I saw the 3D rendered visuals, and my my immediate thought was, oh, we're doing like other M again. So I'm oh. kind of, and I did not care for other M. Yeah, did not care for it. So I was kind of like. I, you know, but then it was all on the 2D plane. Yeah. And it looked gorgeous. And then as soon as I wrapped my head around the fact that, okay, this is a 2D Metroid. Yes. This is a, a I know people hate the term Metroidvania. Yeah. Style Metroid, right? Yes. All in. Yeah. All, in, all of a sudden, my hype button just. Was going, yeah. And just, <laughs> hype meter went off the. I couldn't believe it. It looks. Gorgeous. Yes. The idea of the unkillable stalking enemy is the one that I carry a love-hate relationship with. Right. But to be honest, as frustrating as those sequences can be, mm. I love them because they amp you up the adrenaline oh, you yeah. get from that of running and trying because you know you cannot do anything to this. You have to run. Yeah, exactly. Just, oh, I love I, it. And, it. and it's interesting because, you know, here's something that's going to be uh, so funny too. We did an episode on Metroid about our memories of Metroid. Yep. And that was nine years ago. That was nine years ago. We were younger men back then. Okay, remember the scene in, in the Indiana Jones and the Holy Grail when the guy drinks <laughs> the wrong cup? I'm feeling like that right now. Oh, I, I, oh, I, oh, well, that's, I'm like that's, melting. Th that's it, right? And it's, it's funny, Met Metroid is an important thing. I know oh, nine years. It is. It's an important thing for us because it was honestly the beginning of me and Rob's friendship. Yep. And we didn't know it at the time it was going to be a video game French. We're like, what? What's going to happen here? I went for, a, I'll repeat the, the story. Yep. I went for a sleepover at Rob's brother's place. Yep. And we, in the morning, we were getting excited to see Ninja Turtles, the cartoon, oh, the, the, day, the, the, episode. the debut at yeah. the time. And so we all had a crazy night staying up playing video games and being silly and being dumb. And then we all had these sleeping bags in the living room because we we're yep. going to wake up and turn on the TV. And I, this is the memory I have. This is so funny. I'm sitting there and I also open up my eyes and there's a young little Rob right next to the TV, right next, the TV's here, oh, yeah. he's here. My head's here, I look up and he's right there uh, in, in front of me. And I said, I said, what are you doing? I said, I said what, are you, what are you doing? And you're like, I'm playing Metroid. I'll never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I said, oh, and I'd seen Metroid at that point, but I didn't understand it. I didn't know what Metroid was. And you started to explain how the game was, and I was like, whoa, okay, okay this is kind of interesting. But I, I was kind of living vicariously through you and your enjoyment of it. And yeah, like that's where Metroid really began for us. It was all yeah. that time. And then what was the next Metroid game that you played? Uh, the next Metroid game that I played was Super Metroid. I missed the one on the Game so Boy. So did I. I did not have a Game Boy during that time. Yeah, yeah. I did not play. I didn't even know it existed, to be honest with you, until well after Super Metroid. Yeah. Like, I just did. I also was one of those few kids that did not have a Nintendo Power subscription. Neither did I. I didn't. So I, I had to go to Angie's place to see that. Yeah, every <laughs> once in a while, someone at school would have one, or I'd, you know, someone that one of my Gord or Meg knew would yeah. have a bunch they didn't want anymore in the games. I remember one of... Meg's friend's little brother gave mm. me a bunch of his old yeah. ones, and it was just the greatest thing ever. It's exciting, right? But, but Metroid was, yeah, from, from the first one, it wasn't until Super Metroid that I played again. Uh, and that was so great. And it, it's funny because oh, Mark, Mark. I, I, I played a little bit of Metroid, still didn't understand it, it wasn't yeah. my thing. I don't, I don't, it's very hard too, it's a very hard game. Oh yeah. And then what happened is Super Metroid came out, and I was like, oh, that's interesting, it looks yeah. really good, but 
I don't think I'm a Metroid guy. Went over to Angie's place, sat on the couch, watched him play for an afternoon. Yeah. I left, I went to the store and bought it. Uh, yep. And then I really had, that. that's a religious experience, that game. I think the difference is, mm. just thinking back, the map feature. Yeah. See, because I had the Nintendo Player's Guide. Yeah, to show you the map. So I could open that up and I had the full map right there. So I could backtrack without difficulty. Super Metroid gave you a map that you could at least rudimentary. Yes. This goes this way's how, so you could navigate. Without that, the first one would have been so much more difficult and so much more frustrating. Yeah, it's Which I could see that would be where you'd be like, I don't get this. I don't, like, now I'm here and I was there. But what am I supposed to do? It's interesting with Nintendo, and I'm just going to bring Nintendo, like, as a general company. They had Mario the Action Game, which was, yeah. like, revolutionary at the time, right? They had Zelda, a game that was so ahead of its time, I didn't understand that game either when it first yeah. came out. I'm like, different screens that I didn't get how that worked. I, I didn't understand uh, the, the action RPG mechanics of it. Yeah. That game was ahead of its time. Metroid was ahead of its time. By, yeah. by leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds for that game. And it's funny how they came out of the, uh, out of the bat just doing those style of games. Like, yeah. those games are now are classics of our time. Right? They're, oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody has their favorites in the series, you know? But they created a, they created the Metroidvania genre. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so Symphony cool. of the Night basically borrowed so liberally from the Super Metroid formula. Yeah. Which is right great. down to the map style, which is great. We love that. And they that. married two of the greatest things ever together into Symphony of the Night, which is, to me, one of the greatest games of all time. Of all time, yeah. Uh, I absolutely adore it. But, but, but Metroid did it first. Yeah. And did it so well. So and, well. And so... I followed along. Um, now, I, I did eventually get a chance to play some of Metroid 2. I did with Samus Returns, and that's a whole other thing. We'll, See, do, we'll, we'll talk about yeah. that. So I didn't play the the one that they released for the 3DS, though. Right. I played one called Another Metroid Remake 2. Right, which is the fan game you were saying. Fan game yeah. that was done entirely with the sprite set and graphic style of Super Metroid. Yeah. Which, for me, was... I mean, I was in love with that thing. Yeah. And then Nintendo just came along, and as they do, Season well, 6, yeah. shut it down, right. and then released their version that used the rendered sprites. Sp yeah, yeah. Which broke my heart, and I haven't played it still because... You've got this possibility of taking a Game Boy game, bringing it to Super NES graphics. All the work is almost done. Why don't you just put it, just put it up? Well, because it's not a Nintendo product. I mean, I mean that's a whole debate for another yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. I know. I mean, I, trust me. <laughs> I, you, you see, I hate fan creations and that they're so good and then they get crunched and you're like, yeah. damn. But yeah, it's, it's they're using Nintendo stuff. I, I do understand I, I, a little bit. I kind of get it, but I mean, yeah. if Sega can take the guys who did a Sonic fan game and then go, we're so impressed with this, we want you to make a game for us. Well, Why can't Nintendo that's do That's Sega, that? man. I mean, they're kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're kind of the edgy guys that will do decisions yeah. like that that are really kind of interesting yeah. and stuff like that. So we got to talk about uh, Metroid Dread, the timeline, because as I said, when I first saw the thing, I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? What like, what, like, yeah, what, what, where are we at? And I need, that's what I was thinking when I was watching the trail. I was like, this is interesting, but wait a second. And so it all began with Metroid, the first game, yeah. right? And there was Zero Mission as well. Yes, which is basically a retelling of the first game, plus a little more on either right. side. Right. Which is, and by the, which by the way, amazing. It's amazing. 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 And we're, not explaining the, we, we, okay. we're not explaining the whole timeline here. We're just talking about some of the mainline games. We're not going to talk about the Prime yeah. series, because I think the Prime series is between Metroid 1 and 2, as, uh, as far as I remember. I think so. Now, I'm, a, I'm quite muddy on the timeline. Yeah, I know. very confusing. Yeah, I know. Wow. And then then we get Metroid 2. Yeah. Right? So we get Metroid 2, and then we get uh, which will be Samus Returns. Yeah, when right, Samus goes to the home planet of the Metroids to wipe them all out. All wipe them out, yeah. Them. It's like it's like a big you know alien thing. Let's go destroy uh, them all. And then she does get one Metroid, doesn't she? She, she finds one the one hatchling that imprints on her yeah. and follows her like a lost puppy. Right. Which is the one she then brings in Super Metroid to the Galactic Federation. Right, exactly. And then that breaks out. Oh, no, Ridley comes Ridley in. Ridley steals it. Ridley steals brings it. Brings it back to Mother Brain. Bre Mother Brain and, and the pirates. And the space pirates and Mother yeah. Brain once again start uh, reproducing them. Yeah. And they go crazy all over. Yes. Uh, and then the end is, spoiler alert for a 20 god all game, yeah. um, the hatchling, now gigantic, Save Samus at the end. Yeah. And I seem to remember sacrificed itself to do so. Something like that, I remember that and too. And Samus it's, is left it's been alive, a while. but the, the baby transferred the power from Mother Brain into Samus, and doing so 
killed itself, I believe. So for me, it's interesting. I was thinking about it. I was capturing some footage for Super Metro, Metroid the other night, and I was like, oh my god, I was 20 years old when this came out. 27 years ago for, for the game coming out. It's nuts, isn't it? I was 20. This this would be the point where you do that, like, you know, the war flashbacks thing over my face, because I'm like, it's that long ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's been a bit crazy that way. And then Metroid Fusion came out. Yes. And so that's the next one after Super Metroid. And yes. Yeah, I, like I, yeah. Because then and and Samus's suit, there was something wrong, and, and parts of it had to be it, removed and augmented, and that's why the yeah, design was so different. I think right? that they, I'm, as, as far as I remember, they put a they used part of the Metroid into the suit. Something, something like, like yeah, because you had to absorb those yeah. little amoeba things. That yeah. Were, yeah. So and then so that brings up to like. Metroid Dread now. Yes. And all of that. And oh, I, there's something I'm going to cut right now because there's something I want to show. And because uh, we're really in this mood. Okay. And in a second flash like that, I've shown a little bit of this online. Uh, and I showed it in an episode. Here's some Metroid art. I got quite in the mood. So and awesome. So, so excited. So I did this Man. a couple of years ago, just in general. I am so glad you're getting back into your art. Yeah, me too. I missed it. Yeah. Our first years hanging out was sitting in your art room often while you would sketch and draw these amazing things. Uh, yeah. And I was so jealous because I can't draw a stick man for the love of God. Yeah. Uh, but I, your art was always thanks. so much an intrinsic part of you and it's always so well, good. Well, I, so, I, I don't, I, I don't want to like make it all, I just want to show my, my, oh, my enthusiasm. So this is the why I, why I drew for so Metroid. Awesome. Awesome. Metroid Dread, I oh, hand drew man. this and colored it in with my uh, Copic markers and stuff like that and really, really had a lot of fun so cool. with that one. And yeah, I just, it, it, honestly, this is supposed to be a full on drawing, but I made, I, I drew her too big. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> so I, I was like, I'll just make it as a, a piece for her armor. But uh, that's kind of the enthusiasm that's going around here. Oh, yeah. Uh, and all of that. So um, I, I can't wait. I think what we should do is get together and play it together. Oh, I think so. And uh, just do some yes. first thoughts on the video, uh, on oh, the man. game when it first comes out. What are you excited about about it, about the okay. game itself? First of all, um, the redesign of, of Samus's armor that they showed for the very first teaser and in the beginnings of the the full trailer. Yeah. The red and white coloration. Yeah. That's. I was like being Canadian. I'm like. <laughs> Red and white Samus is Captain I didn't, Canada. I didn't, even, I didn't even think about it. I love that. it. It's that's, Canadian Samus. Um, Canadian Samus. Canadian Samus, eh? Yeah. Um, no, it's going to shoot brewskis out of the blaster. Right, that's great. Yeah, that'd be no, good. Um, but also, the the dread creature, the that, that drone, the indestructible drone, yeah. I cannot wait for those sequences. Yeah. Because I'm just, like I said, it amps you up. It gets me so excited. Yeah. I don't know if I'm crazy. So I'm going to ask everyone else about this. Oh. Am I crazy? Or does it look like... That kind of Horus Egyptian bird headed thing. The Chozo? Is that, does that look like a Chozo to you too? Okay, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so the, are the we going to finally race. learn the, the origins of the ancient race of Chozo and how that armor relates to their history? Are we finally going to get this? I That's think the so. excitement I'm I hearing. think so. And I think, I think, isn't there some thing that Samus was raised by the Chozo? Well, yeah, the there was something about that that either was raised by the Chozo, yeah, uh, and uh, that uh, that's where the armor came from, but it was fused to yeah. her body. Like, it's. She can't take that off. That's not fun. According to original. <laughs> Series lore. Yeah, there's so then, much to this series now, right? Eh? It's gone so it used to be so simple and it's gone really wild. And and then of course you've got the, the fact that so now does this mean that this is an offshoot of Chozo that we're not happy with a human being given the know. secrets or what's See, going on? See, do you know on? what I was the Chozo kind of what it always meant to me, and I may be completely wrong about this, because you know Ridley is based off Ridley Scott yeah. from you know Alien. There's a lot of alien references. Yeah. Uh, I, and I've always thought that the Chozo we're, this is this is a stretch, okay? This okay. is a stretch. It's a big stretch. I, this is just what I think, for my mind personally, only for okay. me, is that the Chozo kind of reminded me of the space jockey in a little bit of the way, yep. and that they were this ancient. Th that's something that wasn't explained, and I know that it's being explained a bit now. Yeah. And I hate that. I, I like that stuff to stay mysterious. Yes. That's what keeps keeps uh, Metroid kind of cool. Is that things are not explained. Yeah, you have no idea for sure. Yeah, but uh, these days you gotta explain everything. Everything needs to be explained. Isn't that Where the Millennium Falcon came from? Uh, no, they the didn't. The Did they, they explain all well, that? They explained everything. I mean, anything that's uh, ever been a reference in a, a Star Wars movie has been explained in some. But regard. the mystery is where the fun is, because that's where well, I know. us nerdy folks get to create our own fan well, head cannon and debate them and share them. Well, it was just which, like. The original space jockey in Alien used to yeah. be an absolute a complete enigma. Yeah, I, we didn't know. No it, idea. That was that to me was more alien than the alien. Yes, that that Absolutely. environment. Is like, what is this? 
you know? And I and love then, not knowing. Not knowing, then all of a sudden he's like, hello, and he's like, hello I'm a marshmallow man. You know, like, <laughs> I was like, ah. Was not like, Mr. Staples. It, it, it was really a little bit difficult to yeah. take in. So the, more, the less they explain, the better it is, but... That's what they're gonna do. I think it's gonna be a bit of a backstory with the Chozo a little bit. I I like the idea of there being different factions of Chozo though. So oh, yeah. the ones that raised Samus are not necessarily on good terms with these ones, which is why they're attacking and they're going, how did you get our technology? You do not have the right to it's have it. It's gonna be fascinating it's to find out great. that story. It's gonna be fascinating to find out that storyline and all of oh, that stuff. It's, I'm looking seriously forward to it. So anything else you wanna say about it? How, are you guys excited about Metroid Dread? Yeah, please let us know, because yeah. I, I am just, you know, <laughs> our, our frothing demand for this, this game, game continually yeah. grows. You know? I can't help it. Yeah. I, the second I saw that there was another Metroid coming, I've always felt Metroid was kind of the the swept aside of Nintendo's holy trinity. It is a bit, Because Zelda gets tons of attention and love, as it should. Mario, I mean, come on, it's Mario. Yeah, tons. But Metroid is their other first, you know, first person, like their, their other property that is theirs, right? The yeah. Nintendo trinity. Yeah. But it's always been kind of like... We'll throw you. We'll a game get it some yes, hey, hey, Here's a pinball game, and yeah, which is pretty good. I mean, like pinball game was good. Oh no, yeah, my kids and I play that all the time. Yeah, I like that. I like that game. But uh, yeah. but yeah, it's just it's great to see new, fresh material, and and to be honest. I'm not, I don't want to be Mr. Downer here, but I'm so glad it is not following in the footsteps of Other M because that game just broke my heart. And that's all I'm going to say. About I have it. never delved into it. It was just so... I bought it. Yeah. I played it for about an hour. And just the way that they... Just, in my opinion, destroyed the character of Samus by taking this badass, no-holds-barred, I put up with no crap. Sigourney I get the Weaver job done. style. Yeah. Yeah, was, yeah. By the way, Sigourney Weaver was my teenage crush. Yes, believe it or not. As a high schooler, <laughs> I had pictures of her up in I my never, locker. I never understood that. Just, 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 never if, understood If you're watching, that. I love you. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's like, thank you, Robert. So they turned her into like a simpering schoolgirl with a crush. You know, oh, I yeah, can't use I my weapons because this guy that I like told me not to. So I'm not good. I'm sorry, if you're on a planet covered in hazardous, hostile aliens, I am not going to turn off my missiles just because Chunky McChisel Chin over there told me not to. Like, come on. I, I, you know what? I, I heard of all that stuff going on. I was like, nope, I'm, I'm okay. That's not my sense. I'll just go play some uh, Super Metroid. I'm good. But we're finally out. We're calling it a day. Are you excited about Metroid Dread? We are just a little bit. Just a wee bit. Just a bit. So, anyways, guys, until next time.